So, Archimedes principle. Archimedes principle. So very important because you know this is what the practical actually revolves around. Very important. So you can see we have talked about density, we have talked about relative density, and the reason why we talked about density, we have said that mass over volume. This is we have masses, and definitely we are going to be massing them into liquid. So very important. That's why we talked about density. Relative density, very important. This is water, this is kerosene. So we can compare the density of the two of them. Do you get that now? That's why I said relative density is the density of the substance, which is kerosene now, to the density of water. Can you see that now? So very, very important. The reason why I'm just trying to do this is so that it will guide us to understanding what the practical is all about. Before we don't take a predicted question on mechanics, then we will perform the practical. So very important, Archimedes principle, don't forget that we are being told in our basic classes in physics that when you immerse a body in water, what happens? It will experience an upward force, right? Which means when you immerse a body in water, the weight will, will decrease, it will be lighter, that's the meaning. So Archimedes principle states that, we can be asked to state it even in the theory of particle in the exam, states that when a body when a body is partially, when a body is partially or fully immersed, immersed in a fluid, that would be liquid or gases in a fluid, it experience, okay, it experience an upward force, experience an upward force, which is equal is equal to the weight of the liquid or weight of the fluid. Let me use that because I'm using it. Displaced by it. Displaced by it. In simple terms, what the rule is just saying is when you immerse a body in water, okay? Let's say, for example, of course, for some of us that have seen this particle before, we use an overflow can, which means when you immerse a body in water, some water will leave if you are using an overflow can. Some water will be displaced. So the weight of the water displaced is the weight of the object or the body you have immersed. That's the meaning of what Archimedes is saying. So Archimedes principle states that when the body is partially or fully immersed in a fluid, it experiences an upward force which is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by it. It's just like I, I, we can use this too. It's just like I have. That's what. Archimedes is actually saying, let's say for example, the liquid is on 400, just an example, that the liquid here is 400, and I immersed, let me use water so that it will be clear, you know this water now is 500, so let's say for example, it is 400 me, and I immerse a body there, you know when I immerse a body, it's like what happens, the liquid will pop up, is that not, the liquid will pop up, so let's assume that the liquid popped out to 500 me, you see that now, so which means that, 500 mil minus 400 mil will give me the, the volume of what I have immersed. So, which, and that's, that's why sometimes in physics we use this to determine the volume of an irregular body. When the body is irregular, when I dip it in, the, in, in this water, what happens? It will pop up. So, when it pop up, I'll just do the volume, then I'll get that. And that's what Archimedes is just saying. So, that's what the practical is actually all about. It's all about density, it's all about relative. Density is all about Archimedes. That's just what the first practical is saying. So stay tuned as we give you the predicted question for the physics methods for number one. You are going to give you a predicted question. We perform the practical and we get our reading. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.